Hello and welcome to this session where we will be thinking and learning about teamwork and making the teamwork. Many of us love the image of a single warrior clothed in armour, standing tall on the hill, heading to the battle on his own to single-handedly defeat the enemy. It's an inspiring image that many of us aspire to. We want to be that person who does it all on their own. But here's the thing, that's not the kind of leadership God dreams about or the kind that really changes the world. That takes a team. You see, to make the dream work, it takes teamwork. Let's take a quick look through the Bible and you'll see team and teamwork everywhere. Right at the beginning, God creates the first man. And up to this point, everything that had been created, God called good. But when he looked at Adam, he says in Genesis 1 verse 26, it is not good for man to be alone. It's not how we were designed to function. So he created woman, team. Along comes Moses. And for Israel, he was the greatest leader who'd ever lived. However, in the wilderness, Moses has a leadership crisis and it was because he was trying to do it all himself. Took his father-in-law Jethro to speak some sense to him as we read in Exodus 18, verse 17 to 18. Moses' father-in-law replied, what you're doing is not good. You and these people who come to you will only wear yourselves out. The work is too heavy for you. You cannot handle it alone. What I think is so crucial in this story is Jethro gives Moses two reasons for teamwork, his own good and the good of the people. When we try to do it all on our own, we wear ourselves out and we frustrate the people we're trying to serve and lead. It's teamwork that makes the dream work. Fast forward to Israel's greatest period under King David. Surely the great king doesn't need a a team, does he? After all, he defeated Goliath on his own. That's true, but David was secure and he assembled around himself a group of leaders called the Mighty Men. All leaders in their own right. But David was smart and secure enough to surround himself with great leaders. And together they led Israel in one of the country's golden ages. Because it's teamwork that makes the dream work. And the greatest leader of all time, Jesus, surely he didn't need anyone else. He was fully human and fully divine. And yet he chose 12 ordinary men, invited them to follow him on a journey of discovery and adventure. He trained them, coached them, challenged them, encouraged them. Ultimately, he released them as a team that changed the world. Jesus spent his three years identifying, growing, equipping, and then releasing a team, even though he could have done it all himself. There's a story in the Bible that illustrates how powerful a team working together in the same direction can be. It's found in Genesis chapter 11, and this is what it says beginning in verse 7. Now the whole world had one language and a common speech. As people moved eastward, they found a plain in Shinar and settled there. They said to each other, come, let's make bricks and bake them thoroughly. They used brick instead of stone and bitumen for mortar. Then they said, come, let us build ourselves a city with a tower that reaches to the heavens so that we may make a name for ourselves. Otherwise we will be scattered over the face of the whole earth. But the Lord came down to see the city and the tower the people were building. The Lord said, if as one people speaking the same language, they've begun to do this, then nothing they plan to do will be impossible for them. Come, let us go down and confuse their language so they will not understand each other. This is an incredible story about ambition and power, about trying to be like God. So it's not a great story, but actually there's some great lessons here about teamwork. You see, these people, they shared a common identity. Effective teams have shared values. This is what Jesus spent much of his time doing for the three years with his disciples, teaching and modeling the values of the kingdom. They also shared a common language. Effective teams communicate well. They have a shared language. In our church, we found that shared language is so important. Helps align us to the vision God has given us. And it keeps us moving in the same direction. They also shared a common goal. Effective teams have a common purpose and vision. They know the why behind the what that they do. The common purpose and vision becomes a guiding star for the team. It enables them to put aside their own preferences and differences and work together. And when values, language, purpose and vision come together, God says it's like you get an extra energy to accomplish remarkable things. This is the power of teamwork. Before we look at how to build a great team, let's take a short break and discuss the questions in your booklet. Share your experiences of being in a team and of leading a team. Then we'll come back together and continue to learn together.